Hi, my name is Enid Martinez and I'm a literacy consultant. I have been a classroom teacher, uh, both of bilingual students and mainstream classrooms. I worked with the Teachers College Reading and Writing Project and now I get to do uh, independent consulting and, and work with schools, districts, and I'm happy to share some of the things that I have learned along the way in my work with teachers and students about what really matters the most uh, when teaching reading to students who are English language learners. It's, it's always been my passion to work with students who are English language learners. And just about every district I go to now has uh, English language learners. And I, I always think of, you know, each time I sit next to a child, I am reminded of what is important uh, when it's when you're teaching English language learners how to read and just the other day I was sitting with a little girl named Magali and she had just arrived from El Salvador probably in December in so maybe three months in school in a first grade classroom had never been to school and she's holding a book and in the little book that she was reading, she was reading about uh, a cat who's on the chair, a dog who's on the chair, and all these different animals who are on this chair. And so when she got to the cat page, the cat was actually sleeping on the chair. She said, cat is sleeping. And the words in the book were, cat is on the chair. And she said, cat is sleeping. And she was so excited to share what she was reading on that page. And, you know, I think we can look at this example and say, Magali, she's not reading yet. She, you know, you we were thinking about the standards and the report cards and oh my goodness, Magali doesn't have this, she doesn't have this, she doesn't have this. But we could look at that example and really pay attention to what she does know how to do. And she does understand so much about what reading is right now, even though she's never been to school. She understands that you read the left page and then the right page. She understands that you read from left to right. She even moved her finger under the words. And she understands that pictures, that books have meaning and, and that you can use language to read them. And so, wow, Magali is at such a great place in her learning, even though she hasn't been here that long as an English language learner. And I think it's really important that when we teach English language learners how to read, that we always stay focused on finding out what they can do. Because if we can find out what they can do, then we can build on what they can do to get them to what they don't yet know. The other thing that um, I think about when teaching English language learners is the importance of putting the right books in their hands, books that are gonna be interesting, that are meaningful. I watched just the other day, a little boy who's sort of considered a struggler and he was in his little reading group and he was reading his book, laughing to himself and just sort of pointing to the pictures and thinking, oh my goodness, this is the best book ever. And how many times do we see English language learners, you know, sort of laughing out loud when they're reading? And I always say that, you know, if they're, they're not smiling when they're reading, something's not right. And so I think that uh, finding out what kids are interested in and helping them find books that have those interesting topics in them that you know that's that's going to make such a difference in their you know willingness and their desire to learn how to read in in a new language and perhaps for some kids how to read in any language so i hope that um, you'll sort of think about the importance of uh, sort of finding out what kids can do our English language learners need that from us and also matching them to books that are going to be meaningful, books that are going to make them laugh out loud and uh, you'll do that for your English language learners. Mm -hmm.